you are gonna love this. In this video, let's make a pullout slicer panel. It is perfect for saving space on your reports. And when done, you can hide it away. Let's go. In order to build the slicer panel, you need to use the selection panel as well as the bookmarks panel to work with various things. So I have already enabled them, but right now they are collapsed. So let's just take a look at the selection panel here. Selection panel shows you all the objects, all the visuals, all the boxes, every little thing on the dashboard page here. Using this, for example, if I hide a particular element like this shape here corresponds to that little red box. And if I click on this eyeball icon to hide it, it's hidden. So this is the basic approach for showing and hiding a slicer panel. In order to create the slicer panel, first you need to allocate an area. So here is the area that I have allocated this little box and I have grouped all the visuals in that box into this visuals selection area. To group items, you just have to select them, hold down control and then right click and then just say group. So in my visuals group, as you can see, we have got a few shapes and then this YTD actual versus target chart as well as this little donut chart. So for now, I'm just going to hide it. So we have white space here to build the slicer panel. Next, create the slicer panel using the regular techniques that you normally follow. I would like to first build a shape like a rectangle. And in this slicer panel, we want two kinds of slicers. One is a team slicer. The next one is a date slicer. So I'll add a new slicer visual here and put my team information there. I'm just going to change this layout to a single column of four items because we only have four teams make it nice and big next one is my date slicer so for this i'm just going to add a regular slicer and add the date field to this slicer finally we will also like to have a clear slicer button as well as apply slicer button so that you can set the slicers as well as clear them these are really simple if you go to the insert ribbon buttons you will find both apply and clear button you can directly use these things, but I don't really like their visual appearance. So I'm going to use an image instead. I have created some images for this purpose. So I'll go to image and select my apply button. Let's add one more image for clearing. All right, that looks good. Now let's select the apply button and enable the action option from the format image options here. And the action would be apply all slicers. For clear, the action would be clear all slicers. Let's test this out. If I select a team like Juicy's and click on apply within Power BI desktop, you need to hold control to click. But once you publish, you just click on this button. You'll see that that particular slicer selection has been applied to my dashboard. And if I hold control and click on this clear button, I'll revert back to the full report. Everything works beautifully. We will also need a close button to collapse this slicer panel and hide it away. I'm just going to move all of these items a little bit down. So we have space for close button up top. And again, I'm going to use a image for this and select this X mark image that I have saved on my computer. By the way, if you're wondering how I created these images, I just made them in PowerPoint using the free icons option that PowerPoint has. So that's it. Our slicer panel is essentially ready. Now we'll need to create a group for our slicer panel. For this, you can hold down control and select all of these items. And you'll see that in the selection panel, they will all be selected as well. You can right click and then say group. This will make a new group and usually it will be named as group one. You can double click on that group and then say slicer panel as the name of that group. It's a good idea to name these individual elements as well, but I'm not bothering with that step right now. So now we have got two groups. One is a slicer panel. The next one is a visual panel. If I hide away the slicer panel and show the visual panel, I'll get the visuals. And if I hide the visual panel and show the slicer panel, I'll get the slicers. While it kind of works, it's quite tedious to do it from this selection panel. So this is where we'll need to now add a bookmark so that we can tell Power BI how we want to see the report with slicers or with visuals. To do this, we'll need one more image to enable the show filter option. So I'm going to hide away my slicer panel and bring back the visual panel again. And here I'm going to add one more image and this image is my show filters button. Let's expand the visuals group in the selection panel. Select this image and move it inside the group so that it also goes into that group. So right now the visuals group contains all the visuals along with the show filters button. If I hide that group, 
that entire group is gone and if I bring back the slicer, I'll see the slicer panel. Now that all the moving parts are ready, let's link them up and set up some bookmarks. The first thing that you need to do is just enable the visual group alone and make sure that the report looks like this and at this point we'll create a new bookmark. You can go to the view ribbon and click on bookmarks panel to bring the bookmarks panel here and from here while looking at everything as it shows up on the screen add a bookmark it will be called bookmark 3 or whatever just double click and then say show visuals i'm going to call this as demo but you can just call it show visuals so now we have created a bookmark that keeps track of the report with just the visual panel being shown by default whenever you save a bookmark it not only saves the visual state of the report but if you click on these dots it also saves this data I'll talk more about this in a minute, but for now, let's hide the visual panel and bring the slicer panel. Now that we can see the slicers, let's create one more bookmark at this point of time. Add a bookmark and this bookmark is show slicers demo. So we have got two bookmarks, each pointing to different states of the report. I'm just going to collapse the selection panel for a second here so we can look at the bookmarks closely. Now let's see what happens. While looking at the show slicers bookmark, if I tap on show visuals, it changes the report status to the visual setting. While looking at this, if I tap on show slicers, I'll get the slicers. While you might be tempted to call it a day at here, there is one problem with this approach. Let's see what happens if I pick a particular team. I'm going to select Juicy's for this example and apply the slicer. Right now we are looking at Juicy's report and at this point I want to go back and see the rest of the visuals. So I'm going to click on show visuals. And it's as if we have not done the juicy selection. Everything is showing here right now. This is because when you create a bookmark, you not only create the bookmark for visual display status, but you also save the data. So you don't want to save the data. You just want to keep the bookmark for display and current page. So I'm going to uncheck data so that this bookmark doesn't keep track of the data part of the report. Let's test this again. I'm going to click on show slicers and select juices. Control click to apply and let's go to show visuals. Now our slicer selection is preserved and we are looking at the report for the juices team. So now that everything is working as intended, let's set up these buttons. Select this image. If you're not able to directly select the image, you'll need to bring the selection panel and select the image so that you're pointing to just the image. While selecting the image, go to the format image options and let's assign an action for this. The action for this is going to be a bookmark action and the bookmark is my show slicers demo bookmark. So now that that bookmark is assigned, I can click on this button and that's going to bring up my slicer panel here. In this slicer panel, I'm going to select the image, this X mark image. Again, again, you can use this to select that image and from there, Let's assign an action to that X mark. That action would be a bookmark of showing visuals. So now all of the ingredients are set up. Let's test our concoction again. When I collapse, I'll see these things. And if I want to see my slicer panel, I'll click on this holding control. My slicer panel comes up. I can pick a team. I can change the dates. I can apply and I can close this to go back to my visuals. How awesome is this? Let me know how you plan to use this slicer panel technique in the comment section below. And if you want to learn Power BI in a step-by-step -step fashion, I've got great news for you. Do you know that I run a step-by-step -step Power BI course that is really comprehensive, practical and loaded with tips like this? Yes. Check out the link in the video description below and sign up for my Power BI course today. I hope to help you out in some way. Thanks. Bye.